Why do I? Is that, that's where the problem comes in, or well, no, it's only a it's only a sort of way of the difficulty, the dilemma for the seeker is that they live in the known, or they want to know what is, what is happening. That's the problem because all the time there is a need to know or knowing what is happening. There is a separation. Yeah, but if it's their purpose. If the purpose of the seeker is seeking and wanting to know, then it's just perfect, isn't it? Of course it's perfect in one way, but you ask a seeker, as far as the seeker is concerned, it's not bloody perfect at all. <laughs> the seeker being separate is, is painful. But it's not perfect. You know, let's, let's just, like, it's, we're back to this blind person, you know. It's like we're back to this blind person. Being blind is perfect because it's the absolute expression of wholeness. So all there is is blindness. It's bullshit. You know, being separate is painful. It's a dilemma. And the dilemma is created by the seeker wishing to know everything. Be aware of. And in liberation, pain arising is no problem. Pain arises, but there's no one in pain. There just is pain. Judgment. Who says that pain is problem? No, no, well, all the time there's a seeker. The seeker says, pain is happening to me. I know there's pain. When there is no one, there's just pain. It's not judgment, it's just a, a, de a description. Yeah. All that's going on here is a description. All the yeah, time. of course, but couldn't the seeker as well give up the judgment on pain? Oh, sweet time. <laughs> well, the, the seeker could certainly believe it can, yes. And then it would be on another path, which is giving up judging pain. I mean, there are, there are therapy courses you could take in giving up judgment of what's happening, actually. It's, it's unadulterated bullshit. <laughs> People make money out of it. Yeah, okay, but where's, still, where's the problem? Oh, in, there is no problem, of course, but for the seeker, there is a problem, <laughs> it seems. What this is about is to point out that actually there is no seeker, and there's no separation, and there's no problem. But that's a concept. It's a belief system. Ask a seeker where the pain is and, and what the pain is. It's very, for the seeker, it's very real. But is joy a problem too? Huh? A problem? Yeah. Look, there isn't a problem, but it's, there seems to be a problem for the seeker. There seems to be a dilemma. And the dilemma is that the seeker is seeking something that they will never find. So it becomes frustrated and longing arises. So the whole dilemma, dilemma is the personalization of it. Yeah, the, you could say the dilemma is me. Yeah. The dilemma is me, which is separation. Me and separation are the same thing in the story. That's the dilemma, the apparent dilemma. That's all. Go for it. Okay. Uh, perhaps it's uh, like the dilemma is a, a possibility or the, the, the apparent possibility to choice. To choice. If, if there is a. That's also part of the dilemma. There seems to be a choice. Yes. And so it's, uh, pain without choice is just pain. It's, it's not. Yeah. There is no problem because it's. Yeah. Just it's just that all it is yeah. is this. Yeah. 
Mm. It's very simple. May I come back to the message? I'd like to quote two sentences, <laughs> messages. One is by Jack Cornfield, the American no, that's Jack, Jack Cornfield. Okay. The essence of Buddhism is no ego, no problem. Okay. Does that have to do something with the message? No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> of course not. <laughs> Question. Well, it implies two things, doesn't it? Having an ego and not having an ego. This, the message implies having an ego or not having an ego. That, that isn't. But it's that the isn't core, the message of the open The seeker thinks when you're talking about pain, no person, the problem fades away. It's just pain. Yes, except that what we're talking about here is the illusion. Of their being, or let's go for Jack, the illusion of their being an ego. What he seems to be implying is that there really is an ego, or there really isn't an ego, and of course, the, the Nathal case. He's left out the word apparent. <laughs> <laughs> the word apparent. <laughs> I do sometimes. <laughs> Maybe he didn't think of putting it in. <laughs> <laughs> What's the other one? I mean, it's well, like... <laughs> <laughs> what well, the other one is, uh, by Osho. Who? Osho. Oh, Osho. Said so many things. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Life is not a problem to be solved, but a mystery to be lived. Right. That sounds you more like it, it huh? isn't it? That's more like it. Yeah. Huh. Except that I have to be pedantic about this. In liberation, there is no mystery. Hmm. The mystery is over. In separation, there seems to be a mystery. In liberation, there is nothing that is mystified. It just is what there is.